mindset. So this word gets tossed around quite a bit in this community. What mindset is not? It's not a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt from my good friend at Wise Men Company. Great dudes. But a t-shirt is not a mindset. A logo is not a mindset. A military or law enforcement patch or logo is not a mindset. A guy covered in muscles yelling at you is not a mindset. A mindset, good or bad, is how you program your brain to interact with the world. Good, bad, right or wrong. We all have a mindset. A loser has a mindset. A successful person has a mindset. Somebody that cracks at the slightest chance of pushback from life has a mindset. The person that rises to great challenges and overcomes or succeeds or dies trying has a mindset. It's incumbent upon you to craft your mindset into whatever you want it to be. Why I'm telling you this is don't get diluted into thinking that something as simple as a coffee mug with a cute saying on it or some badass gun guy's t-shirt is gonna somehow change you. How you input data into your brain, how you on a daily basis deal with hardship, adversity, trouble, sometimes little, sometimes large, that is what creates your dominating mindset in your life. It's a recent class we just did in New Jersey, a good friend of mine, Miles, who is dealing with what for most people would be the greatest obstacle of their life. And he's doing it well. He came out to a class uh, last week in New Jersey and talked about his mindset for a moment to 20 students. Let's hear from him. It's going to be a little bit graphic. I did not uh, want Drew to edit anything out of it. So if you are a young person, if you don't like to hear curse words, don't listen. Here we go. Let's hear from Miles. State your name for the camera. Sure. Miles Barisha. Miles. How you doing, guys? Um, so I'll share my story with you, and I'm still fighting. Uh, May 4, 2016, I was diagnosed with uh, terminal stage 4 cancer. I had over 34 tumors, brain, lungs, liver, stomach, bladder, every fucking organ, dude. Um, was 260, jacked, worked, you know, six days a week, 14-hour days, loved, you know, work, go to the gym, everything. Went down to 158 pounds in less than four months. You know, also given four months to live. Uh, you lost over 110 pounds? 100 pounds. I went from 260 to 158. Okay. Straight. Like that. Just melted away from literally cancer just eating me alive. Um, and it happens when it's in all your organs like that. How many tumors? Over 34. Um, three in my liver. One of them was actually the size of a grapefruit. Um, the other two were pretty large too. And uh, I had some masses, one under my chest like my left pectoral, my back, you could actually see them. It looked like fucking lemons underneath my skin. It's really, really bad. Um, you know, like he was talking about before, you know, you don't really know. You could say all that shit, do all this training, everything. You don't know who you are until you're tested. And right there I stood up, I said, I'm gonna fight. I'm not gonna die, you know? Um, that was over three years ago now. I've been doing great. I just had my 56th immunotherapy treatment this past Thursday. Um, I had a surgery August 8th to remove a tumor. It was about the size of a golf ball and a half, right off my uh, pulmonary artery. It's on my heart. And I had a scan this past Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, because of the trauma from the surgery, I now have four tumors in my brain. But when they told me that Thursday, I didn't get mad, I didn't get upset. I didn't even get scared. I was just like, all right, well, let's keep going. Let's keep fucking fighting. Like, they're like, great. We know that, you know, that's your attitude. And that's that's it, bro. You just, you love life. You want to keep living. Or you can just... Tell the story about, about the dude, your buddy, when you started fighting three, four years ago. Oh, what he said to me? Yeah. yeah. I had a guy, this is like, you know, a few months after... I got diagnosed in May, so it's probably like four or five months after it's football season. I go to, you know, I'm feeling good. I select, you know, let's go to the bar, watch the Giants game. I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. He's a little drunk. I wasn't drinking, obviously, because, you know, I have my goal set. And he's like, dude, you know, I don't know how you do it. If I was you, I would just fucking get drunk and this and smoke and fuck it, give up. I literally wanted to lay him out so hard. And I was just like, you know what? fuck you and I just left I was just like cut him off completely that mentality is just like 
I cut off everybody with negative thoughts in my life. Anybody who was, I had my family coming over to me. Oh man, I'm gonna miss you. My reaction, where are you going? You moving? Are you leaving the state? Fuck, like, you know, it's just, that's a loser mentality. That's not me, bro. That's just, you know, either you have it or you don't. That's, and I'm, you know, I'm speaking from experience. I don't wanna sound arrogant, but that's how, that's the mentality I have to have, because I'm literally fighting for my life every day. But I don't wake up and say, you know, oh, poor me, I get the fuck up, I go to the gym, I go to work, I do my things. I just keep living. And comment on that, I don't let anything stop me. Your girlfriend heard you in the bedroom with the door closed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I have this thing I started doing, and uh, obviously, because the news I got, I, I just really had to get back to it, bro. I, I remember it was just like really in the beginning, it was like two weeks after I got out of the hospital and I was really in a bad space, obviously, because I was just physically destroyed, so fucking weak. I looked like a skeleton, dude. Like, straight up came out of a concentration camp. Like, you could see all the bones in my chest, my hips, everything. It was just... And going from being this, you know, alpha, go to the gym, fucking strong dude, you know, like, it's just... It could have crushed me, but I didn't. I was determined and I, I said, I, I, you know, I just came up with this idea. So I remember, you know, the whole family's at the house, and I was just like, listen, uh, she's helping me take a fucking shower, like an old man, you know, like a baby. And I was just like, leave me alone for just, I need to be alone. Whatever you hear, don't, just tell everybody I'm okay, just don't come in here. I literally look in the mirror at this fucking skeleton, and I told myself, you're a fucking warrior. You're a Viking. You're a Navy SEAL. You're whatever the fuck strong, powerful ideas I can come up with. I just thought about that. And I would just use that. And, you know, I don't know what you would call, like, just visualizing and attacking every fucking day, bro. And I still do that now, you know? But I was literally screaming, like, like a fucking animal, bro. Just like, ah! And then that's like, I was literally, today, I wanted to come here earlier, but I was on a rampage this morning, bro. Were on you? the way here, I pulled over. I was on a phone call with my cousin from Sweden. Uh, his name is Dino, very close. And I was literally just like fucking screaming on the phone call with him, just like getting fired up. Because I just needed it today. You know? I mean like tears flowing and shit, bro. Like it was it was it was really good. And I feel great. And I'm really happy to be here with all you guys. Happy you know? to have you. It's man. Awesome. For sharing. I almost didn't come out today, bro, but then I realized that's not me. Yeah. You know? I said I gotta come out. I'm glad you're that's more. who the fuck I am. Good. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Thank you. So that's a mindset.